start a street plate, you want to make sure that you flame your loop until it's red hot before you actually get any bacteria on the loop. That way your loop will be sterile. Once you have bacteria on your loop, you're going to gently touch the loop to your first quadrant of your plate. And then you'll just spread the bacteria out in this first quadrant. And then it's important that after you do that, you flame your loop once again until the loop is red hot so that you get all of the bacteria off of the loop. Then after your loop has cooled, you're going to take your loop, go back into the first quadrant, and take bacteria and spread it out into your second quadrant. You'll flame your loop once again, let it cool, and then do the same thing into the third quadrant. Once again, you'll flame your loop, and you'll do your last fourth quadrant. And this is where you want your isolated colonies. And you'll spread this out and hopefully get isolated colonies in the fourth quadrant. So first you need to take the Bunsen burner out, which is in the very bottom drawer. You need to plug it in nice and snug on the blue gas nozzle. Then you need to take the striker out of the drawer, turn the gas on full, and light the gas using the striker. You won't be able to see the gas because it is natural gas in these labs. Then you'll take out your loop and flame it till it's red hot. Let it cool beside the fire. And then select an isolated colony off of your plate. Once you have the colony, take it onto your new plate and streak the first quadrant. Replace the cover after each time you streak and flame the loop again until it is red hot. Allow the loop to cool briefly then remove the cover and do your second quadrant streak. Replace the cover and flame your loop again until it is red hot. Moving on to your third streak. Again, replacing the cover and flaming the loop until it's red hot. Now you're doing your last isolation streak, which should not touch any of the other four quadrants you have streaked on the plate. Flame the loop when you have finished, let it cool, and then put it back in the drawer. So this is an example of an isolated colony streak plate, which you should see after you've incubated your plate for the specific amount of time. You can see the isolated colonies in your fourth quadrant. This is an example of a plate that was not properly streaked. The problem may have been that the loop was not flamed properly in between each quadrant streak. This is the proper way to label a plate with your initials, what bacteria on it, and the date that it was streaked. This is an example of an improperly labeled plate. You can see that the name is not written in initials, it's written out full. The date is on there, but the year is not included, and there is no indication of what kind of bacteria is growing on this plate.